Hi everyone, here today we are going to show you how to program your timer by using an app called Data Log that is really easy to use, okay? All what you have to do is just to tap on it and then you can see on the upper and right part of the screen there is an icon that is a square with a plus sign on so you have to tap on it and start working. So uh, the first thing to do is to define the name Imagine that we want to program the heating at the office. So let's write the name there, uh, heating. Okay, and then uh, you have to select the language. In this case, we are going to select English. We have different options, but we are going to work with English. And then we have time mode. We have there are two alternatives. We have 24 hours and 12, but we are going to work with the 24 hours. Period, and we are going to talk about periods later. So let's continue with the programs. We have there on the right part, we have an icon that is a square with a plus on. So you click on it and start working. Mode, we have three different modes. We have fixed, um, we have pulse and we have cycle. But we are going to start working with fixed. So the time. We have to define the time and we start working at 8 o'clock in the morning so you have to click on 0000 to define the time so um, we want that the heating starts working at 8 o'clock so you accept there we work from monday to friday so you disactivate saturday and sunday because this is the first device that we are connecting to our timer so automatically we are working on channel number one so action, uh, we want to activate and uh, the hidden. So in this case, you can see two blue lines there. So you have to click on them and now it's on, all right? It's done. So just to check that everything is okay, uh, go back on the arrow, white arrow that is on the left part of the screen, the upper side, you click there and then you can see that is uh, the function is activated, okay? So now we want to disconnect the hidden, the time that we leave the office. So we repeat the process. You click again on the icon that is a square with a plus sign on that is on the right part of the screen. So click on it and we keep the option fixed. We click on 000, that is the time that we want to disactivate the, the hidden. Let's say that 15, that is the time that we leave the office. Okay, you accept. Remember that we work from Monday to Friday, so don't use Saturday and Sunday, so we disconnect them. And then uh, we continue working on channel number one. And the action is to disconnect, so uh, we don't have to do anything because it's disconnected. So we go back again. We can see the two functions there. Um, now imagine that we want to connect at the office um, the blinds, okay? So the good thing for this timer is that we can uh, program two devices with only one timer. So to do that, we repeat the process again, click on the icon to program. And uh, th in this case, we are going to change the mode. It's not fixed. We are going to work with pulse, okay? The time that we need to uh, close, open or close the, the plant is just five seconds. So uh, in this case, well, let's just start working with the time that we are going to start working at the office that is at eight o'clock. So time, you click on, on zero, 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 zero. Um, we start working at eight o'clock in the morning, accept, and then from Monday to Friday. So disconnect Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, yes. And then, as I said before, the time that we need to uh, open or close the blinds is just five seconds. So in the option of seconds, you have to click on zero there and define the time. In this case, five seconds, accept. Remember that channel number one, we were working with the hidden. So in this case, we disactivate channel number one and we activate channel number two. Okay. Now it's done, so we go back to check, that is okay, good. And now we want to close the blinds at the time that we are leaving the office. So we re repeat the process again, click on the square with a plus sign on, 
fixed time no is polls so the time that we are leaving the office is at 17 okay accept remember that we work from monday to friday so this activates saturday and sunday and then seconds click on zero um, we were talking about before that it was only five seconds okay so we accept it's not channel number one so we disactivate it and we go to channel number two and then we go back and we can see all the functions activated there okay now let's talk about periods uh, if you can see on the upper part of the screen, you can see there are four numbers in colors, one, two, three, and four, that is the periods. So you click there. So imagine that we are going to be on holidays. Um, in that case, our holidays starts on, let's say, February, February the 2nd, okay? And finishes on February the 5th. active the the option that is there is no so you click on this button and now it's yes so you go back and then you have the four functions and we want to activate the special periods in all of them so click on the first one that is fixed 8 a.m and then in the, uh, in the at the bottom you have a special periods click there on the button that is no and now it's yes it's activated so you repeat the process with the following one that is fixed 17 with the following one too that is pulse 8 and the same with the last one so we have activated special periods for all the functions that we have there all right now uh if you go uh if you see on the upper part of the screen on the right part you can see there um menu button so you tap on it and you have there different alternatives. So if you are near the timer, you can send the profile and then the timer gets the information immediately. Or imagine that you are not there, but you want to save the, the profile. So you do uh, you type on save profile and later when you get to the office or to the place that you have the, the timer, you send information and you get it there. Or maybe you are uh, near the timer, you want to send the information and additionally you want to save this information in your mobile, so you select option number three. Or if you want to share this information with one of your contacts, you click on share and then you can save the information by email, uh, WhatsApp, whatever you prefer, okay? In our case, we are going to uh, save the profile. It's done. So you have the profile there and the name is hidden. You can change the name if you want. Remember that in this case, I have two things. We have uh, hidden and also the blinds, okay? But now uh, imagine that we want to program another uh, timer. Let's say that we have a garage and we are working on the garage and we want to program the ventilation system. So to do that, you repeat exactly the same process. You go back, you go, sorry, to the to the icon that you have in the upper part that is a square with a plus sign on you tap on it and then name in this case we are going to work with the ventilation uh, system so let's call it ventilation okay good and then uh, languages you select english and uh, the time we keep the same time so programs go to the same icon and click on it and we have word with fixed pulse and now we are going to work with cycle all right the time that we are going to start working in our garage is at eight o'clock at this time the ventilation system will start working too okay so in this case we work there from monday to sunday the whole week so we activate all the days we don't have to disactivate anything and the time that we finish working, it's at, uh, let's say, uh, 18. Okay. Um, we work from Monday to Sunday, so we have to activate all of the days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The time that we want, 
uh, the um, ventilation system to be on, uh, we want to define it by minutes, no seconds. So you have to click on the blue button and then we have hours and minutes. So click now on 0000, zero, zero, zero. select the time that you want uh, the, um, the ventilation system to be activated. So let's say 15 minutes. Okay, accept. And then we repeat the same thing with the time off. So you click on the blue button. So now we're some minutes and let's say one hour. So it means that the ventilation system is going to be active 15 minutes and then one hour off. Because this is the first uh, device that we are connecting to this new timer, we continue working on channel number one. Okay, we go back just to check that everything is okay. Okay, we have activation, uh, the function, the function activated and we want to save this information now. So click on the button bar. So we click on the menu bar and then save profile. Perfect. And then you can see there that we have heating and ventilation. So uh, thank you very much. I hope that you enjoy programming your own uh, timers. Thank you.